the emanations of the left are a parallel set of sefirot, of an entire structural system that issues out of the left side of the ten sefirot of Kedusha. These emanations of the left issue forth out of Bina or Gevura and some systems even out of Malkuth of this tensifiers, sephirot of holiness. And they are actually a parallel system of tensifirot on the left. For my purposes, I like to think that they issue forth out of Gavura, out of the left hand itself, the fifth Sapphire wrote, which in all systems is like a major point. This parallel system is actually the Sitra Akra, correctly called the other side, the left side. It emanates and issues forth out of the left hand. That's why in all societies that left hand was always considered evil. However, in the final analysis, the left hand is contained in the right. The left side is contained in the right. It is only the high echelons of the mystic and of the holy man that can enter down into the other side, the side of the emanations of the left and pull back those sparks those, that level of night, the level of darkness, the level of descent, the level of going down into Egypt, the level of being in the desert, to then come back and take these sparks that were there and bring them back into holiness, bring it back through the left hand and only through the left hand and only when you've descended into darkness can you then say and make a choice and then everything is right handed everything is right handed even the left hand the left hand is contained in the right and you have two right hands. There's no evil. Because you can walk through darkness. You can walk through fire and not be burned. You can walk through evil and not have it touch you. It has nothing to do with you. It's like what I use as an example. I'm a vegetarian doesn't matter to me if they have ads on TV for hamburger, chicken ads, steakhouses, beautiful sliced sirloin, it has no effect on me. I'm not interested. I'm a vegetarian for 35 years. The advertising has no effect on me. I don't drink wine. So all those people in wine parties has no effect on me at all. 
So only somebody who's tasted the needle of San Francisco can then rise it up again, rise to holiness. And these are the emanations of the left. The whole parallel universe of Lilith and Samuel, the Adam and Eve of the left. One must be familiar with the left side. If you block this off and not touch it, and not use it, and not see the power within it, you're dealing with half a deck. But if you can bring that le the left side emanations into holiness, then you have the ten sapphiros of the Sitra Akra, along with the ten sapphiros emanated from Ein Sof. Remember the beauty of the Roche Tivo of Aleph Sanach, and that reversed Hipuk is Samek Aleph. The same powers reversed of found of, of Ainsof are found in Sitra Akra. I've always thought this was to the back, you know, the Sitra Akra, to the back side. But in reading today, I saw a lot of commentary where they think it's just to the left side. It's a parallel man on your left side that's connected through the left hand. And as you know in tennis, I think that the left hand usage is the tennis of the future. And I think all left hand usage will be of the future. That we must incorporate the left hand. Remember the left side through Gavura is the side of the feminine. That's why they use either Bina or Gavura or Malkus to access this emanations of the left, the other side. And so that's these are the three feminine sephirot. It's a feminine entry into the left. And that's why, again, there's cultural blockages about using your left hand and your left side. But these cultural blockages, this is why we still have things to develop in our personality, in our persona, in our physical usages, we're still not all there. Learn how to write with your left hand. Learn how to stir your coffee with the left hand. Learn how to play musical instruments with your left hand. Learn how to throw a ball until your action is as good with the right with the left as it is with the right. Spend time you using your left hand for physical developments and this will help your brain function. You will think differently, which is the point of all these videos of mine and of Talmudic study and of Kabbalistic study and of Torah study to think differently, to think up to your potential. The true education is, is a methodology of how to think, not how to do a function, 2 plus 2, 4 plus 4, but how. The secret of this, the Ikha, the root, 
how to function better and differently, to make better choices. You have free choice. Free choice means, ah, oh, just to see, ah. Oh. No, free choice means to make firm, good choices. Out of possible multiple solutions to you choose the best one. That's what Talmudic study is to do for you and to use the Kabbalistic framework of Tunis. So the emanation of the left, this parallel universe, parallel being a word that, uh, from the word Kabbalah, a parallel universe in, from the left from the feminine. This is so important now in the century of the feminine. Of the feminine taking its rightful parallel part to the male. And for the male universe to bring in these energies from the female universe left. From Lilith. understanding that this is part of the development of the right. Because when the left hand is equal in power to the right, you'll have a, a, a greater man. And that's what we're driving at. That's what all this work is for. To think better, to function better, to make better choices. That's what being human is. find out what the potential of a human is and to act accordingly.